I'm sitting off to the side for this one, because there's this odd beam of light coming down from the light above me, and it's not usually like this, but uh, I know it would be annoying if I sat here in front of it the whole time. I look like an angel, because <laughs> I am. But uh, today, I'm reviewing, not reviewing, I'm just recommending, actually, because you can't even review this movie, because everyone knows it's fucking amazing, which is Dennis the Menace, from 1993. Uh, now, I'm just more and more often, I'm surprised that how many younger people have never heard, um, I, I sound like such an old man, saying that, but when I say that, I mean, like, um, like, probably ages 10 to, like, 15. A lot of people haven't heard of the movies that I watched when I was, like, super young. Like, Home Alone, I'm sure people have heard of that. Dennis the Menace, but a lot of people have, like, not seen movies like this. Um, and so that's why I'm going, if you've never heard of it or if you've never actually watched it, I'm definitely recommending you watch it. And maybe a reminder for those of you who are my age or older or a couple years younger within my age gap, um, age group, that you grew up watching this movie because this is absolutely one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. Uh, just watched it again the other night, and I could watch it again tonight if I wanted to. I actually almost rewatched it last night because there are just so many funny parts in this movie, and I just love it. There's a couple parts that I've never been a fan of. I don't know why. There's like there's a scene when he's uh, when Dennis the, when Dennis is in uh, his neighbor's attic with him, and there's just I just have never liked that scene for some reason. I find it boring, but uh, that's about it. But um, this movie is basically about a kid named Dennis, and he is a menace, according to his neighbor, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson is played by Walter Matthau, who passed away, I think, uh, two, in the year 2000, 2001. And he was a very famous actor, but he plays uh, Mr. Wilson, who is a very famous character before this movie even came out, because Dennis the Menace was a comic strip. It was a daily comic strip in newspapers all across North America, maybe in other countries. It's just... This is one of those really, really popular comic strips. It also stars Mason Gamble. He's one of those kids who hasn't really done much since this. He, the most recent thing he did was maybe an episode of CSI Miami, I think. Um, it's also got Leah Thompson from the Back to the Future movies. It has Christopher Lloyd as Switchblade Sam. He's the bad guy in the movie. So this movie follows Dennis. He's always getting into trouble. He's a menace, obviously. And so his parents both have to go out of town for work. And, of course, no one in town wants to babysit him because they know what he's like, they've experienced it. So their last hope is their neighbor, or their neighbors, uh, the Wilsons, Mr. Wilson, and uh, his wife, Mrs. Wilson. I don't know if they even say their first names. I think they do at some point. But uh, that's what it follows. Dennis getting into trouble while he's being babysat by his neighbors. And uh, then Switchblade Sam comes into, comes into town. They're in a very nice small town where no crime happens. And Switchblade Sam is a train hopper, kind of a hobo, and he, he he's a burglar. And so he kind of turns things around and He's, uh, he's the antagonist in this movie. This movie is just so awesome. It's written by John Hughes, who has surprisingly written a ton, a ton of famous movies, including uh, Dennis the Menace, of course, but he also wrote all four Home Alone movies. The third and fourth were kind of bullshit. Um, he also wrote Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He wrote The Breakfast Club. He wrote a ton of iconic movies. Unfortunately, passed away a few years ago. I think maybe 2007 it was when it was. Uh, it's unfortunate because he wrote some good ass movies, which I didn't even realize he wrote all those movies until I was looking into it last night because I wanted to see what else he had written. Because we were watching the um, watching the special features on here, and it's got okay, shit. This thing like this is awful. Um, we were watching the special features, which has uh, a thing with John Hughes where he talks about uh, making or transforming Dennis the Menace from a comic strip into a movie. And there's a lot of other cool special features, like it shows the search for Dennis the Menace. Uh, the kid to play Dennis the Menace, they had 20,000 videos and auditions to go through, and they narrowed it down to 10. And, of course, Mason Gamble got that when he was a lucky kid because uh, John Hughes felt that he was the perfect life-like version of Dennis the Menace. And there's a couple other of cool uh, of, of cool special features on here. There's one of Mason Gamble, I think, from probably mid-2000s, which is, I've always, I was like, what does this kid look like when he's grown up? Because you can't find much. He's one of those actors who hasn't really done a whole lot of sides from this one movie. So it's kind of interesting seeing him. He's kind of a nugget, the way he talks, and like, he's kind of a loser. Um, but that's just me. I don't like a whole lot of people, so maybe you'll think he's one hip dude. Absolutely a movie to get for your DVD collection because they don't have it on Blu-ray. I looked, unless it just, they just didn't have it on eBay. But uh, it's an amazing movie. You can get it super cheap on eBay, and you can just find it online. Even I'm sure you might be able to watch it on YouTube. Just look up clips. If, you're, if you don't own the movie, but you've seen the movie, then just watch different clips on YouTube because there are so many funny, hilarious parts in this movie that I love saying almost on a daily basis. Um, there's I, I'm not going to say them because I will ruin them and look like an idiot because it's hard quoting 
quoting something that, why did I say, say quoting like that? I started quoting something that like a five year or six year old has said. That's what Dennis is. He's five years old in the movie. And he's he's one of those kids who's just so much, um, he's so much more mature than five or he knows more than he should. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But uh, it's, it's a kid's movie, but it's also good for the whole family. Um, there's a lot of jokes that kids will absolutely not understand. Um, like when Dennis talks about his parents, uh, the only time he ever sees them mad is when every Sunday night they go in their room and they wrestle shirtless. Um, so that's a joke that only adults would get, obviously, and hopefully most of you watching understand that joke. But absolutely watch this movie. If you have never seen it, watch this movie immediately. I don't care if you have to go to school today, tomorrow, tomorrow, it's, it's nighttime, it's like midnight. Go out to Blockbuster or some sort of video store that's open 24-7. Get this movie, watch it, download it. I don't care if it's illegal. Just download this movie and watch it. If you uh, remember this movie from when you were a kid or if you own this movie, just go to your DVD shelf and grab it and watch it right now because I know you love this movie. It is an amazing movie. Anyone who does not like this movie does not have a soul and they are a very odd human being. Uh, absolutely watch this movie. One of my favorites, maybe even of all time. Who knows? But that's about it for me. See you next week.